In April 2025, Kawasaki unveiled the world's first hydrogen-powered robot horse at the Osaka Expo in Japan, and it's stirring up some excitement. This four-legged rideable robot named Corleo is kind of like attaching legs on an all-terrain motorcycle instead of wheels. Corleo is controlled by the riders shifting their weight on the stirrups and handlebar, and has rubber hooves to absorb surface contact and maintain grip. The legs are all powered by electricity generated by a 150cc hydrogen burning engine between the two front legs and the fuel tanks are stored in the hindquarters. It contains an instrument panel that displays the hydrogen level as well as navigation, center of gravity position, and other information. It even projects navigation markers onto the surface ahead under dark conditions. So the question stands, if the company already unveiled the robot, why does this video look so fake? Well, it looks so fake because it is. The reason why this looks like CGI from a sci-fi fantasy movie like Transformers or Narnia is because this video was released by Kawasaki as a concept video to show the public what Corleo would be like if it were fully realized. But we aren't there yet. This is not a 2025 concept, but actually a 2050 concept model, and Corleo has a lot of improvement to get there. A lot. But robotics is progressing and expanding at the most rapid rate in human history, so I wouldn't be surprised if Kawasaki achieved to complete most of its features seen in the video. However, I will be surprised if they achieved this concept to 100%. And I definitely wouldn't ride it to the top of a rocky mountain to stand near the edge of a cliff. Nope. I don't trust like that. And what's with the monster looking design on its chest? Out of all designs in the world, why that one? Corleo's head resembles a motorcycle more than a horse, cheetah hybrid, or whatever it is. But maybe that's for the best. It would be kind of cool to ride one of these things to school or to work, but where would you put it? As of now, Corleo is only a model capable of very limited movement and just a sci-fi dream, though I do see this being more achievable than having sky highways full of flying cars. Most people have enough trouble driving on the ground as it is. The Corleo on display can stand and adjust its posture, but Kawasaki has light years to go before reaching its intended agility. The fully realized concept in theory looks like a blast to ride, but that's because it can go fast and in dangerous terrain. You can guarantee I'd at least be wearing a helmet if I climbed onto one of these things, because who knows when it might decide to turn into a mechanical bull. Unfortunately, there are no current plans for production. Do you think this is just a thought exercise or publicity stunt to grab people's attention, or do you think this might be a fully functioning version by 2050? I'd like to hear your thoughts in the comments section below, and if you like this content, hit that like and subscribe button to keep up to date with similar content. Thank you all for watching, and until next time, save that money.